The Antichrist is here, the church is sound asleep, and the world is hit snooze as the papacy continues to inch closer and closer to enforcing the Mark of the Beast. And yes, the Sunday law from the Vatican is the Mark of the Beast. U.S. Senators introduced extraordinary legislation suggesting the U.S. government may secretly possess recovered UFOs and biological evidence of living or deceased non-human intelligence. A new report says the U.S. and our NATO allies are running dangerously low on ammo due to all the supply they've been doing in the Ukraine war. Millions could soon flock to Samaria to see the biblical red heifer. President Biden on Thursday authorized the Pentagon to mobilize up to 3,000 military reservists for duty in Europe, signaling the toll that ongoing efforts to deter Russia and reassure its NATO allies. A Russian surveillance aircraft flew above the U.S. base in Syria for an extended period of time. A cannibal eruption from the sun may disrupt Earth's magnetic field. The heat index reached 152 degrees in the Middle East, nearly at the limit for human survival. Stockholm, Sweden is allowing Bible burning outside of an Israeli embassy. U.S. orders deployment of fighter jets and Navy destroyer to the Middle East in response of increased Iranian activity. Massive swarm of grasshoppers wreak havoc in Utah, adding dilemma to local farmers suffering from drought. Powerful 7.2 magnitude earthquake strikes near Alaska Peninsula. Stock up while you still can. 2.4 billion people are already impacted by the growing global famine. Tech giants form partnership to make AI woke, host workshops about incorporating Karl Marx teachings and critical race theory into systems. Florida ocean temperatures reach shocking levels could produce catastrophic hurricanes. Naked climate change protests in Wisconsin allows a little girl to join. Tornadoes ravage Chicago areas, leaving thousands without power. U.S., South Korea, and Japan hold missile defense drill after North Korea's ballistic missile launches near Japan. Despite blackout by American media, the summit for a new global financing pact brought more than 50 world leaders to Paris in a meeting that is sure to have far-reaching consequences for the rest of the world. Magnitude 5.6 earthquake strikes off the coast of Mexico. Another train derailment, freight train derailment in Pennsylvania prompts evacuations of nearby residents. Former Google chief says AI will soon make sex bots seem alive. Growing number of bank customers are reporting unexpected account closures. Finland's tensions with Russia escalate after country joins NATO. Houston health officials report explosive syphilis outbreak, 128% spike in cases among women. New Snow White remake dumps seven dwarfs for seven multiracial mixed gender magical creatures. Elon Musk tells China's leaders that if a digital superintelligence is created, it could take charge of the country. Now, doomsday scenarios are gaining traction. More than 400 are dead in a Kenya doomsday cult where a pastor told its members to starve themselves to meet Jesus. Ethiopia has officially applied to join BRICS and would like to ditch the U.S. dollar. As famine, pestilence, and war continue to rile the globe, Mother Earth continues to experience her birth pains as the sands of time for this sing. Cursed world, they're fast running out. The prophecies in God's holy word are all nearly fulfilled as the soon return of Jesus Christ upon us. 